My name is Uriel Moraes from Software and Professional Services. This is the user guide to our payroll and HR system in Excel. Please subscribe to motivate us to create more system in Excel. Now, when you open the system, it tells you to put in the activation key. If you have, you put it in. If not, you click on the exporting. When you click on the exporting, the option appear. The software opens for you and you want to go to the employee card. You click on the employee card, you can also search using the employee code. Now when that is done, you can add image to the employee card. You click on the upload image and you are going to select the image of your choice. So in this case, we are going to look for URL Moriah's image in picture and we are going to go to the image. Now, once you select the image, the image appears. If you click on add and that ID number is already in the system, it's going to tell you that the number is already in the system. So it cannot duplicate. This shows that one employee with one ID, no two employees can have the same ID number. Now, if you click on add, if the employee is in the S staff, it's also going to tell you that that employee is in the X staff database. So with this, it helps prevent two employees having the same ID number. So when that is done, you can add the employee by clicking on add. So once you click on add and the ID number doesn't exist, it goes into the system. You double click for the information to come in the cart. Now you can also go to setting. You go to setting to select the gender. You can also select the department and uh, you can select the information there that is customized. You can customize it to yourself. Now we go to the employee cart. Once you double click on the employee cart, this is the asset cart. You select the employee that you want to exit. Now, once you click on exit, it's going to ask you, do you want to exit? If you say no, nothing happens. If you say yes, that current employee goes to the exit module. Now, when that is done, we also want to go to the disciplinary module. So you can select the employee ID number, select the employee ID number. And when that is done, you can also select the disciplinary action and you include the date. The date that the employee got the disciplinary action. So once you do that, it goes into the database. That is how you capture the disciplinary action in our system. Now, when you capture the disciplinary action, you can also go to the leave module. Leave module is where you enter the employee ID. Basically, you use the employee ID. You use, you enter the start date and the end date. You click on add. So that is the employee leave information that is captured in the system. Eventually, we will generate report on all of this that we are doing. So it's easy, it's automated, and it is reliable. Now we go to the payroll module. In a payroll module, you want to set up the payroll month. That is from the first to the last day of that month. You also want to enter the rate, assuming it is USD, because the task code in Liberia is calculated in Liberian dollar. So you enter the year and you click OK. The next place you want to go, you want to go to the days absent. You enter the apps, the employee days that they were absent for you enter the date and you also click on add you know the days absent affects the payroll so that will be affected now we also want to go to process payroll but before we do that we want to enter the deduction and the allowances on the payroll so for this part if 
bonus doesn't apply you put zero if allowance doesn't apply you put zero if all time you put zero because if you don't do that it the document will not go the form will not accept it so you put in the information and you click on add once you click on add it goes into the database and it is affected by the payroll now when you click on process payroll all of the informations are processed and you can also email the pay slip to individual employee you can email the pay slip to individual employee so the pay slip is generated to pdf and it is sent through the email to individual employee now this is our system we want you to subscribe to our channel we want you to follow us on facebook and we want you to use this system because you can self customize the system that will work effectively more than other system that are costly and they are not really really effective because there is no way for you to customize it to yourself now when that is done we click on the process payroll you can click on process payroll to process the information then we go to the reporting module once you click on the reporting module you are going to get the first payroll report so when we see the payroll report we see the year that we enter 2021 we see the start date and the end date we see the information so you see bonus you see salary advance that we enter the salary advance is there and you see the net salary is also there so you see all of the informations are there and it is automatic the calculations are automatic the income tax the nascop everything is there and you can see the information clearly and everything is automated now we also want to go to the employee listing so you see the current employee that you have that is the employee listing and you see the asset listing so you can see your ex staff you see the ex staff listing there and it is easy it is generated in excel you can also use that to create your graph and to submit to auditors and all of the things that you want to do with it and you see the disciplinary action you see all of the employees that have disciplinary action you see the employees will be listed there and you get the leave so you see the annual leave report so all of those that took leave you see the leave information there and you see the this absent report so this is our system we want you to like and follow our channel and we want you to continue to subscribe to this channel because we are going to come up with a lot of programs that will blow your mind. Thank you and thanks for your time.